Hello Commanders, Commander Plater here and welcome to today's live stream. So, um, yes, I'm, I'm at this point where I feel like I can't possibly ever start on time because if I do, you guys would probably think something was wrong. So yeah, um, welcome to the stream. I hope everyone is doing well today. It's a quick look to see who is in chat so far. So we have got Sinclair Research, Scalebags, Himanshu, uh, Philip, Phoenix, Branats, Truex, Vortex, Gerb, Theo, and Jally. How are you guys doing today? Oh, Peculiar, there you are in there as well. Hope everyone's doing well today. So, uh, the plan for today is I'm just going to be doing the CG, keeping it nice and casual, nice and chilled. And, um, as usual guys, if you want to come and join me, you are more than welcome to. I will be in my private group. And uh, we are going to be fighting on the side of the Federation, because they always seem to do kind of better. Which, I'm a credit whore, it's what I do. Simple as that. Uh, Nordic Pagan, hello. And Michael, how are you guys doing? Top 10% and you're losing. Yeah, Nordic Pagan, that's kind of the way it goes. The, um, At least in my experience, um, if there's a CG and it's between the Empire and the Federation, the Federation always seems to win, which I find quite odd, because everyone who's backing the Empire are a lot more passionate. Or at least, you know, they seem to be. But right, let's get ourselves off this planet. And yeah, how is everyone doing today? That is, a, that's my question. I will throw out there nice and early. Having a having a good Monday. Ugh. I say good Monday. Ugh. Is there such a thing as a good Monday? I don't know. So we can actually get boarded. There we go. Did uh, Gerb, yes I am. Uh, yep, 100% did. Oh wow, this is this is. There we go. Gerb, I forget everything. That's one of my my defining features. I'm always late for live streams, and I will forget everyone's names. Because you've got to remember, I have to keep track of your real names and your commander ones. Easier said than done. Okay, right. Let's get ourselves to where we need to go. Ah, uh, Jacob, is it any good? That is the question. Hey, Spider, Andromeda, how you guys doing? Hey, Jason, what up? Uh, Darren, hello. Yep, Himanshi, that's true. There's, um, that is very true. But it doesn't happen very often, I don't think. Um, I guess. Because maybe I do know your real name. That also came off a lot creepier than I than I meant it to. Or did it? No, it, it definitely did. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Uh, see, Michael, I haven't done any missions for quite a while, uh, just because I I struggle with them a little bit with the uh, the risk to reward. Not enough risk, not enough reward. Uh, 
Uh, so, Andromeda, I am taking part in this week's community goal. A little bit late to the party, I guess. But hopefully we will have a decent quantity of support. So, as I said, anyone who wants to come and join, you are more than welcome to. Could definitely do with a little bit of a Healy Beams if they're kicking around. Uh, now, what I was doing previous to this in actual personal game time is I was trying to gather some materials so I could do some engineering on my shields. That will no doubt cheer lots of people up. Because I get grief about my shields all the bleeding time. Um, Nordic Pagan, is, is that a real, real amount of, uh, of money, is it? Doesn't sound like a real amount of money. Sounds like you made that up. Unless there's two numbers we're looking at. And I'm missing something. That could be that. Ah, I gotcha, 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 gotcha. That makes sense. I must admit, trading is something I will have to revisit at some point. I'm pretty... I know, I'm getting into that. I'm desperate for the storyline the 2.4 is going to bring. Like, very much so. Looking forward to essentially everything it's going to have to offer. And I do have... Well, I had some exciting news about the expo today from Frontier. But... Could I? Can I tell you about it? No, no, I can't. I'm not allowed to. Uh, Ali, I'm the grand old age of um, a 33. Now, Gerb, when you say in a scale of one to Oxy, how bad am I? In, in, in what sense? Because I can never remember what I've literally just said. See, I love that. Youngling gramps. <laughs> one, one comment apart. Hey Andy, how you doing? Oh, as in combat, on a scale of one to Oxy, how bad? Wait, is, is Oxy, like, really bad at combat? Is, is that what that is? Uh, see, Philip, you said it's very young, but um, I, I lived I lived a lot of life. We'll go with that. And just a small reminder, guys, please do hit that like button nice and early on, and we can get things chugging along. And talking about being bad, a bit in combat and stuff, is uh, I'm not going to say I'm bad at combat. I am going to say I am. Uh, I'm okay. And I uh, say, yeah, for me, um, you talk about my pip management. I, I'm flying. Drive 
Doesn't matter about your pit management when you're in Super Cruise. Really? Straight in with that nuke? Classic. But yeah, so... My first memory of Elite Dangerous was when I sat there in my Sidewinder and I went through the the controls, that control like um, test that it does. So you press all the buttons and I was like, okay, this is fine, yeah, nailed that. And then as soon as I went to take off, I couldn't remember any of the controls again, almost immediately. It was uh, not a great state of affairs. But yeah, definitely it was um that was an interesting one. Simon, I don't know, is it? I don't think it is a, well it's not, is it? Because we've got a few people um who are over over in the th over thirties, so yeah, I'm gonna say the um, the landing was very very difficult, but yeah, if you're not using flight assist, then it's not so bad. Um, well, sorry, if you are using flight assist, then it is not so bad at all. Okay, let's get ourselves over to... Do we have to go hand ring? Yes, we do. Nice. So, we'll head over to hand ring and we'll see if we can... pick up some missions, if we're lucky. We might be able to get some conflict zone missions and some massacre missions. If we can, we are on for a winner. Hey, there's Vortex. Um, yes, the answer to the question that was in there that was, uh, was um, am I elite in combat? I am, but that's just because I've killed an awful lot of NPCs. Like, a lot. Uh, Real201, welcome to the stream, how are you doing tonight? All this afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. Yeah, Spider, I know what you mean with that. It's kind of looking... Um, I was actually watching a, a video by Austin Evans on YouTube, and he had he was doing a, a video where he was comparing the, the new iPhone 8 performance-wise to one of the, the, the Mini Macs or Mac Minis, and it was just absolutely mad that the phones are more powerful than a desktop computer for like single core performance. It was absolutely bizarre to watch. Uh, See, so Nordic, what I do recommend you do is you find yourself a player group to join uh, and get yourself in there on either kind of a, a private private group and all that kind of stuff. Because, to be honest, it's, it's a completely different game as soon as you start playing with other commanders. The game opens up so much. It doesn't even have to be PvP, just PvE. It's just good fun. Small nudge. There we go. Right. Hopefully, we'll have another textbook landing. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. That, that's good. Oh, with the drift. There we go. Dink. It's about stub my toe. I think 
we might be lucky. Come on. Massacre. Right. Okay. So. That's a good point, actually. Let's find out who, who we're uh, killing. Uh, some security forces. Jet comms limited. Okay. Right. So we're fighting for the jet comms limited. So, perfect. We will pick up that, and hopefully we will do all right there. Um, Andromeda, whereabouts are you? Like, where's what would you call your your home system? Um, if you tell me where your home system is, I might be able to have a look at the things for you. I can give you a clue, uh, give you some areas to go into and stuff. So, uh, Miguel, how's it going? Now I quite like V eight eight six Centauri. That's one of my my key favourites. Um, I like that system just because it's got some really nice scenery and lots of variety. But that's my personal preference. It may not be yours. Well, Nordic Pagan, you should definitely get yourself in the Zencast Discord. Um, we're a reasonably lively bunch, and uh, there's no pressure in there. Nuke, yes we can. I just, um, I just wasn't ready yet. That was it. Okay, we're going to go to the nearest high intensity conflict zone, which is next to the station. That is the plan. Right. Vortex, what did you do? <laughs> you just say, oops. Never good. Hey Tim, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Well, Nuke, here's the reason why. We need to renew our strategy and we need to do it when we're going to have a little bit more time. So, I don't know if you spotted where the new Nets Corp are. Then they're currently, I think they're up to seven something percent. Someone is definitely trying to uh, work against us. So there's that. But uh, Nordic, you should definitely get yourself in there. It doesn't matter if you're on um, PS4, not PC. You can still get on the Discord app, uh, either on your phone or if you do have a PC that you can get on Discord on. Go for it. Talk to other people. You'll find people to wing up with for PS4. Um, I mean, there'll be some of them in there. Um, I actually, how close is this conflict zone to the sun? Uh, exceptionally close. Okay. Um, might have made a mistake here. Yeah, Nuke. I'm just gonna just leave, just let it happen, and we will we'll keep it all nice and quiet and stuff, and then um. Picked up too much speed there. Now we're good. We're good. It's still only thirty-eight percent, so it should be fine. Should be fine. It'll be fine. Got some uh, interesting drift going on. <laughs> a wild phoenix. <laughs> yeah, join Discord. There may be a wild phoenix. Ah, I see Andromeda, that can be a fairly common sight. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, this is a definitely a blazing war. Nice. Nice, now we're talking. 
Um, that that is kind of my famous last words. Actually, you're not wrong. Um, that's kind of how I roll, I guess. You say it's never fine. I think it's never not not fine. Freedom Party, so not the Freedom Party. We are fighting for the Ho C Ho C Jetcoms Limited. I've said it. I've called it out. If anyone shoots the wrong people, I, I won't be I won't be surprised to be fair. I'm actually nuke, no I'm not. I was quoting someone else. Oh look, the wild T9. Actually, no, I haven't done any combat for a while. Um, any like real combat? Phoenix, nobody, you were listening. Sorry, that was uh, getting people's way. New guy wasn't actually. I was uh, quoting Gerb because he sent me a message in in game, saying there may be a wild phoenix around if you join us. That's it. That was it. No, I'm feeling good about making a, a lot of the cash here, which should be lovely. Yeah, but Phoenix, he knows you're wild, so it's okay. Wait, dag, 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 dag nabbit? Is, is that what we say? Um, hang on, wait. You, you say I have badly modded prismatics, Nuke. Now, let me clarify this. I am currently working on collecting materials so I can do myself another 30 rolls on my, on my shield generator, and also another 100 rolls on my shield reinforcements because I'm not happy with them. So it is a work in progress, but there's a lot going on at the moment, so I have to pick and choose my times when I do things. Um, plus I'm going to be spending an awful lot of time down in the Pleiades, I'm sure. So, um, Nuke, I'm going to be, my intention is, um, when I get a chance I will have a chat with Minnie about it, um, and get him to do the roles. No, I'm, I'm going to get his advice. Uh, we, he has offered a Skype call where he gives me top tips on which ones to keep, which ones not to keep. That is the plan. And no, let Christian the rise. <laughs> now that man is, is gifted with luck of RNG, the like of which uh, only the gods have seen. What are you talking about? You're, uh, you're, st you're still in the station. Let's uh, play to maneuver this guy. I 
Um, actually, Nuke, if you check, I am managing my pips. Thank you very much. I never said I was the best. Never said I was the best. Yeah, Nuke, you are right. Um, a a Fragdoral Corvette? I don't know if I can get away with that, to be honest. Well, Nick, there you go. Yeah, but I am, I am trying to, I'm trying to get better. I would say, and that's, that's all that matters, you know. Um, actually, you know the thing about the idea of huge. Um, Gerb, we are supporting the Ho Hesi Jetcom Fragvet. Yeah. The Fraggle Vet. Can I get away with that? Actually, oh, peculiar, that sounds pretty good. Uh, we're working for the Feds. And the reason why we're working for the Feds is because they are higher along, or further along, on the CG. And I'm not a federal fanboy. Despite what anyone says, I just don't care. Um, but the feds typically end up paying out more money. Yeah, not getting hit by railguns. I'm going to assume they don't have any. I'm just getting lucky with the ships that are around. Um, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that because I don't seem to even actually even be shot by anybody. Um, that's right. Freckles died on the rock, man. But yeah, I am a bit of a, a dictator fanboy. We'll go with that. Hey, Yanarith, how's it going? I guess it's a good guy. No, no. Is that is that, is that a wanted? No, no. What we got? Give me some bad guys. So just having all the effects applied to him. It's good for him. Nah, see, I, I don't know. Hmm. Could have been a bit of a disaster. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hand my hand my mission in that I, that I picked up, and hopefully pick up another one and get paid a little bit more cash from it. Um, and yes, if I just wanted money, what I could be doing is heading over to Quince, but that is exceptionally boring. And you know. I fancy shooting some stuff. Shoot new nets. Yep. But also, I wanted to get paid for it at the same time. Ooh. 
Uh, just some more reminder, guys, do not shoot the Federal Navy. It is a mistake. Uh, yeah, Kirikenshi, not long to go, and I am pretty, pretty pumped about it. Uh, Andromeda, there are a couple of different ones that do shield boosts, depends on what grade you have the materials for. Uh, but yeah, Nuke is spot on. Didi is the one that you want to go to, really. Now, my thoughts are, are we going to have other... other goid weaponry? Anti-goid um, weaponry? Or are we going to be stuck with just missiles. That's what I want to know. Uh, Kirikenji, of course I'll be streaming on the 26th. Of course. Um, and also, this is the this is obviously the super exciting bit, I will be streaming on the 7th of October from the Frontier Expo. Uh, I can't tell you guys which time yet, but um, I will certainly... I'll let you all know when I'm allowed to. Um, interesting thoughts on that one, <laughs> Himanshu, about the, the nukes, is how come we don't use them in Elite Dangerous anyway? Like, why, why don't we use nukes? Um, other than the only thing that I can possibly think of is that they're too risky to the user. That would be my thoughts on it. But, you know, I'd be interested to hear what everyone else has to think about that. Or maybe we don't use them because, you know, Independence Day, that scene. Yeah, that'd be my thoughts, because you don't want to fry your uh, your internals just, just to win a fight. And also, with our current weapon ranges of only three kilometres, I do find that to be a bit of a, a daft one. Uh, well, Nordic, they would essentially work exactly the same as they do. Because uh, they don't rely on oxygen for fuel. Obviously for the the firestorm. But you would still have essentially the um, nuclear reaction. Well, Jeremy, it depends what it hits. I mean, as long as it's... As long as it gets, you know, hit, then... Or it's within the blast radius, then it would be absolutely fine. And then you'd still have the same... Oh, why pad 9? Um, oh, yeah, Jeremy, it does. I mean... There would be no fallout if there's no no air. Hey chickens, how's it going? Um, Miguel, I saw. Thank you very much. Um, I might use that uh, on Thursday. Yep, see, I'm reading the chats that are docking, so I've, I kind of deserve to do a bad job. 
I'll get there eventually. It's fine. This is all fine. There we go. Um, man. Oh, Jeremy, yeah, that's a good point. Docking stations with nukes and um, civilian ships is a risk. But then again, are we civilians if we're mi members of the pilot federations? We have military ranks. Huh? Just saying. Yeah, turning flight assist off. Um, oof, let's not talk about that. Kind of hoping that's up to my rank a little bit of these guys, or there's another. Ah, oh, no. Rubbish. Let's just make sure they didn't give me anything. No, I didn't. That's fine. Alright, back to it. <laughs> ah. Phoenix stone splitter, straight with the age things as well. Oh, actually, no, I have no clue how fast a nuke flies. Yeah, but I know it's it's a difficult one. It's like where would where would we fit in if we're commanders? We'll see, commanders of ships, and we're all commanders. Hmm, bit of a vague one, but I don't know. It's an interesting one. Oh, they go seven kilometers a second. Well, why aren't we using them? Militia. I don't know. But yeah, that's an interesting thought. The Pilots Federation is it doesn't have a it has no hmm. Oh Jeremy, we we're being distinctly uh vague there. If we're talking about the, the nuclear explosion and reaction, then Seven kilometers a second, man, fudged. But if we're talking about the speed of the projectile, then that can vary. But I don't know. I have a clue. Believe it or not, tactical nuclear weapons are not my area of expertise. Okay, seven kilometers is the ICBM speeds. Ooh. In that case, we really... Hmm. Why are missiles not more effective? And why am I not using them? Yeah, see, we're going to the realms of things that I do not know about, but with a little bit of Googling. Uranium tipped shells, maybe. Oh, guys, where's the purple? <laughs> I always worry when I see purple. Rubber banding, no. Both. I want to know the speeds for both um, torpedoes and. Oh, 
Uh, hey Joe, how's it going? Welcome to the stream this evening. Some black hole mines. Oh no, if we could get some of those grenades from Thor The Dark World. Uh, where they turn that guy inside out. That would be pretty nifty. Oh, you guys have killed everything. Yeah, torps, man, they are slow. Okay, so why we why are these things go so go so slowly then? And who's in combat? Who's being shot? Who's shooting who? Oh, what have you guys done? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, wow. Where did you guys come from? Um, yeah, actually what I was going to say by accident on Saturday was um, I like black holes, which out of context is really bad. And it's one of the reasons why you're not getting Nightbot yet. Well, no, we're not. We're talking about torpedoes in in Elite Dangerous, which, in that case, they're just missiles, right? I, I mean, what's the difference between a torpedo and a missile in Elite Dangerous? Is, is there actually a difference? Because when you think about it, are they not just both missiles at this point if there's not if there's no medium for them to travel through? Uh, Phoenix, um doing the the different going for the different uh, power play modules can make a huge difference. Um, some of them are really good fun and especially if you're doing a build on a ship, once you start engineering them as well they get rather entertaining. ED Torbs fat missiles. Yeah, which doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane. Now actually, they are, they are very different things. Um, That actually has an answer. Well, we're answering some of the big questions today, aren't we? Yeah, start with pack hounds, or if you've got a ton of money, prismatics. Because even if you're not going to use them all the time, they're handy to have in reserve. And everyone likes to be, everyone likes to say how many megajoules their ship's got. Uh, but Phoenix, what I will say, um, is that if you are going to go for prismatics, you need to be prepared for how slow they recharge. Um, they make you a very good tank as long as you have support ships. Yeah, what I did is with, with prismatics, I bought pretty much two of every single size because I had the um, the money and uh, put it all on one side, so that was good. But yeah, resistance by weaves, I can see the benefit of them, and I'm not fully committed to just prismatics for life. For life, I am well and truly um, open. Um, that Taipan has invincible shields or not? No, they're down. Oh yeah. Anyway, I, I agree with you on that one. It would be much nicer if we could have some different roles where, when you can, you're essentially looking for group. Maybe um, that's that's pretty good. 
um, and you could have a you know I'm looking for a support role ship and you've got someone with um, repair limpets when when 2.4 launches and also heal beams as well um, who we got there? Oh Sinclair Um, yeah, Nuke, I don't have that money anymore. Um, it gone. <laughs> On prismatics that I'm not using. And they're just sitting there. Yeah, Phoenix, it's all about finding something you enjoy doing, and that way you don't notice how much time you spend doing it. But yeah, Quince is going to be good for money. Um, 2.4, it'd be interesting to see whether or not it's still active then. I will certainly be keeping everyone informed as to whether or not it it is. Hopefully it will be. Um, got no bad guys, have we? Yeah, I've been talking to some uh, to some people about it, but yeah. Yeah, Hemanshu, I agree with you. The wings was massively underthought, I would say. Um, Who's bumping into me? Gerb. Um, from what I can tell, though, even testing in the beta, um, Quince was still active. Um, I am going to suggest we all jump out and jump back in again from this conflict zone, actually. Um, no, what they're getting rid of is the certain types of missions, it appears, that you can stack. So they're looking at getting rid of the stacking for the conflict zones because they paid a huge amount. It didn't make sense to kill things over and over again and get counting three or four times on different missions you've got. They're getting rid of them as well as they're getting rid of the um, base takeout missions and the skimmer missions. So that was what it was. That's That was the thing. So Quince may or may not uh, be, be removed. Only time will tell. Because I so say testing in the beta, it was still there. But yeah, I mean, let's face it, no one will be going to Quince. So. Uh, twin tube. Uh, how about no? Welcome to the ban button. Yeah, Nuke, you are right. No, it's what I, I say. I've said before, I don't mind uh, moderating all of my own stuff. But no, I will not give you half a moment. You have a quarter of a moment, and that is it. I think everything is about to drop in directly on top of us. And we wait. Why is this conflict zone empty? Here. Oh, that's one ship. You're eating, yeah, you're eating a ginger nut. God, the most British of all biscuits. Um, where is everybody? Well, just one ship on its own, right? <laughs> uh, um, Ethos, I think that the wing is a bit full at the moment, um, but certainly if the space does open up, you are more than welcome to come and join. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I want to talk about British things. Why don't I drink some tea? Uh, because I don't like tea. Because, uh, um... Hey, Effigy, thank you very much, man. Look at you hiding secretly in chat there. Much appreciated. But yeah, I'm allowed not to like tea, aren't I? guys doing the run the running away game can you solve this <laughs> soulless nuts it's an interesting way to describe uh, ginger nut biscuits Nuts, pizza. What's going on? Oh, here's the question what type of pizza? Because on the Zencast, we had a, a something of a disagreement about whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza. Because I personally have got to say, no, no, it does not. Oh, Vortex, hello. Hey, Philip, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And yeah, that, that, hit, that hits my target, which means I actually need to uh, start looking at uh, uh, cameras and microphones for the, uh, for the expo. Which is coming around pretty quick, actually. We're only, uh, well, what are we, under three weeks away now. So we need to, um, say, get there and just a couple of things to do. I've got my eye on um, a couple of different DSLRs um, and also a wireless lav mic as well, which should be very much. What, what, what nuke? No. No. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the um, the, the pizza stuff, nah. <laughs> oh, effigy, that sounds rough. But yeah, I'm 110% not doing a six hour mining stream. I can tell you that much. Like, I said it before. Mrs. Plato is uh, very understanding. She's she's a very patient woman. She um, she'd have to be to be married to me. But the thing is, is that that some things she can uh, she can understand, right? And some things she can't. And why you'd want to uh, have someone sit there watch me watch me do that? I, I just don't think it's there. I just, just don't get it. Don't worry, I'm talking about you. I'm just saying that you wouldn't you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't trust me. Uh, I'm getting some evil looks, so I probably shouldn't have spoken about Mrs. Plato when she's in the room. That's a mistake. A sidewinder mining stream. Oh. Uh, yeah, ham and pineapple. So, well, Gerb, outrageous behaviour. 
is what happens. I, I get caught up in chat. I get caught up in shooting stuff. No, ham and pineapple is wrong as well. Like, I... I can't do it, guys. I just can't, can't handle this. Ham and... No. Now, actually, true, Rex, you talk about the cutter as a mining ship. The cutter as a mining ship is actually pretty good. Um, one second, uh, Ethos. So we'll make sure that um, we'll get everyone accepted. Cool. Um, so, Ethos, what is your... Um, What's your commander name? And I'll get you invited in. And also make sure you add me as a friend. But yeah, cutters actually make fantastic mining vessels because of the amount of space they've got. You can go in with a uh, <laughs> a metric metric ton of well. I guess both literal and uh, figurative tons. Yeah, so I'm not looking forward to landing one with flight assist off. Um. That will be an absolute nightmare, I think, um, just because of the drift. And bearing in mind, I'm doing it with no shields. And yeah. Hey, Zero Thermic, how's it going? And are we out of out of bad guys again? Um, Andromeda, I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, now, Ethos, have you requested either entry into my private group? Or are you already in the group? Oh, I have approved, okay. Uh, but as I say, make sure that you add me as a friend in game as well. Ah, that looked much better than it actually was. Uh, yeah, Xerothemic, I've actually just accepted it, so you should be good. Uh, the conflict zone I'm at is the nearest high um, dumbfire gunship. That would be brutal, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm the nearest conflict zone, high intensity, to 
the ring, was it hand ring? Yeah, hand ring station. Yeah, but you, I'd have to build one first. Which, I only have time for only one engineering project at a time. And I need to redo my shields. So, that's going to be my goal. I'm not really allowed to say. I can't say what time it is, I'm afraid. It, it, it is a secret. It must remain unknown. Until I get the nod from Frontier to tell me that I'm allowed to fully reveal it. Uh, Jamie Velks, hello, how you doing? And Chinius, what up? Um, yeah, I can't really... Well, I think it's going to be AM, I think. But that's all I can say. I can say no more, that's it, do not ask me questions, I will not tell you. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of, uh, they're calling the shots, so I'll let them have it. Um, I'm currently um, waiting for full details, but I'll be using all of their equipment, um, and I, 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 I know which streaming booth I will be in. But no, it's not that there's an NDA um, with any of the information we're going to find out, because at the expo it's all going to be public domain. But it's more that um, until it's fully agreed with everybody involved, then then it can be revealed. Otherwise, it could be deemed as being unfair. So, you know, it's okay. I just don't want to step on anyone to anyone's toes. <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I don't know. Th I do. I 100% do not know Thargoid details. And you've got to remember, by then, 2.4 will have been out for for 10 days. So everyone will have had access to everything. So, there you go. Um, Ethos, yeah I am. Ah, uh, see, you just discovered the real reason why I don't drink tea. So no one can spill it.
<laughs> if it replaces tea in the harbour, god damn it. Yep, can't do that either. And yes, that is a running joke between uh, myself, and I say joke in the loosest of terms. Um, because uh, me and Mrs. Plater, whenever Independence Day comes around, I offer to make her a tea. And then I go, oh, well, I would give it to you, but you just throw it in the harbour. Boom! Um, I, I, didn't, I did say it wasn't a good a good one. Yeah, sometimes I am. Just uh, not all that all the time. But yeah, something I do need to make sure I do is I get myself some of the power play or a power play voucher because I don't particularly want to lose. Um, four weeks worth of. Uh, well, doing nothing for Denton Patriots in order to get the advanced plasma accelerators. Um, because with the reset coming for the power play, we need to make sure we get in there and have merits. Hey Bob, I am doing very well. How are you? Uh, oh, I'll be doing better once I've actually. There we go. Kill this vulture. I felt like that was a. Uh, I was taking a while. God, it is none of those things. Yeah, Justin, not a clue why they're doing that. It doesn't seem to make any sense, really, why they would. Yeah. It seems a bit of a, a daft one to me. How does just unpledging someone who can, who can then immediately re-pledge, or not even have to unpledge? Not sure about that. Um, Effigy, that is literally it. Um, it's actually, to be fair, um, it's an okay way to make some money as well, uh, especially if you join a faction where you get more credits for doing bounty hunting if you're into bounty hunting or that type of thing. That's pretty handy. Oh, wow. Anaconda. Nice. But yeah, if you join a faction and, for example... Um, oh, no. Go, you still have to buy them. You do still have to buy them. And at the same time, you do also have to perform some actions. Oh, that was a rubbish shot, wasn't it?
Ah, Ethos, I gotcha. Um, well, okay, so, Ethos, you're currently not in um, my private group, which is one of the problems. Hi. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the problem. It's basically if you've got money, then yeah, you're kind of you're away. That's basically it. With power play, it literally is you, you essentially buy your uh, buy your commissions and go off. <laughs> Vortex. It's all about the kinetic weapons, isn't it? Yeah, there's not. If you're going to do power play, the only real way that you want to be doing it is if you're going to just transfer transfer commodities one one place to another. And what you always do is you go to the control system, and then from the control system, all you do is take the commodities to the very nearest station. You never go to the one that you actually think, oh, that'd be the most benefit. No, everyone only goes to the nearest ones. Yeah, but so you get merits, and when you have merits, what they do is they allow you to um, be higher up in rank. And when you're higher up in rank, you get given a you get given much reward every single week. But you have to maintain that rank, so you have to continually get merits every single week. And uh, that's kind of power play in a nutshell. Uh, but yeah, Anna, thank you for the uh, little prompt there, guys. Please do hit the like button. Um, obviously, it helps helps me out as a streamer, and um, it doesn't cost you anything. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just do it. Just click the button. Go ahead. No one will get hurt. I promise.
This is going well. I feel like this is um, for conflict zone journeys and uh, journeys, conflict zone, uh, you know, poke arounds. I don't know which word I'm trying to look for. Jaunts. Conflict is in jaunts. Oh, look. I can hear a lot of cannons being fired. Go. Don't try and put people off. I mean, Phoenix is an influence. I, I wouldn't. I know if you're saying good influence, I'm not entirely 100% sure about that. But an influence that he is. <laughs> yeah, it's a lie. The whole thing's a lie. None of it's true. Nah, Phoenix is a good bloke. That's it, I said it, I said it once, that's all you're getting. So if you missed it, it's a shame. I have to make sure that I, I uh, go through and edit that out. Just because I don't want him to hear it. That was it. It was a one-time deal. I think we might go for a hand in in a minute to see how far we've come. Oh, that's rubbish. I uh, see Nuke. There's only one person that can do that, and that is himself. Um, 
man, good, but that is some sass. It's still something I don't understand is the whole T9 in a conflict zone. I'm hoping that with the addition of the T10, they remove the T9s from conflict zones. I mean, they, they'd be nice if they did. And replace them with T10s. That would be pretty awesome. That's so cute. Wait, Gerb watches Phoenix sleep? That's creepy. <laughs> Vortex, I'm, I, I don't know about that. T10 equals cargo Taipan with turret. No. I think it's going to be more of a, a combat T T9. Okay, True Rex, you take care, man. Yeah, Phoenix, that's not behaviour that we can support there, I'm afraid. Just remember, Phoenix, you signed a contract. You've got to be careful. Wait, is this is this a full-on bromance blossoming here? <laughs> yeah, but it's really coming to uh, coming to fruition, isn't it? Um, yeah, ethos probably not. Typically, you, you're gonna have to hit shields pretty hard to, to do damage. Wait. There's something that we've never considered here. What if Anarith is Phoenix's wife? And we just never we never clocked it. And they do an amazing job of keeping things looking you know professional in the Discord.
I mean, if you want, I can create you guys your own personal uh, voice chat on the Discord, and you guys can just take care of business. So if you're not saying nothing, that means you are saying something. Double negatives. They will always bring out the truth. Okay, Gerb, thanks for dropping in. You take care. Yeah, get a Discord chat. Oh. It's a bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Cringy. I think that's the word. Cringe in 2017. No, there's no such thing as cringe in 2017. <laughs> Nuke? No. Don't do it. I think 2017 is the year of cringe, if ever there was one. Oh. An anaconda. No, nope, 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 no, nope. no Jar Jar, no Jar Jar. I will naughty corner all of you. Oh, Nordic Pagan, that sounds, uh, that sounds rough. I must admit that happened to me a lot. Um, Anorath, go mod powers, go. <laughs> Himanshu, boosting into the toast rack is wrong. Uh, that's not how that works. Uh, see, now, I never really flew an anaconda until after I'd had my corvette for quite a while. And the anaconda is fine. Definitely got to... Uh, it's a very different ship. And as I said before, you know, it's a different ship is a different ship, and you've got to treat it like it is a different ship. No, Nordic, he said he put cleans on there. Yeah, 
yeah, D docking is a uh, a fine art that not all of us have fully mastered yet. He says. I'm gonna have to dock on the stream in a minute, so that'd be fun. <laughs> there you go, Nuke. That's better. Yeah, expecting the castle to drift less at any point is just not going to happen. Drifting is what it does. And that's typically what most Imperial ships do, is they drift. But that's okay, as long as you know that, then you can work with it and get the hang of it. Yeah, to be honest, there's very little reason why you shouldn't put dirty drives on a ship, unless it is an exceptionally hot ship. Like, exceptionally hot, in which case, you know, your power management and your heat management is going to matter a lot more. But that's pretty rare, to be honest. But yeah, at some point I will have to get myself into back into a cutter, engineer it, do myself a decent combat build, and uh, get a bit better at flying. Cutter, how what minis at Tane Circus? That's a ridiculous ship. Like, it is ridiculous. Worryingly ridiculous, I might say. Do I mean good ridiculous? Yeah, good ridiculous. Nick, I think it'd be possible to be honest. Um, once you once you fill up their uh, their radar bubble, then oh man. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't see how it's a party. It is just absolutely insane. When Mini brought it out for my 24 hour stream, that was that was something. I hadn't actually seen it in action before, so when it came out, I was like, oof. Yeah, see, Nordic uh, cracked industrial firmware is not my friend. It runs away from me, it hides. I need it for, for stuff and things. That, and I still need a bunch of modified embedded firmware. Which I can't bring myself to do it, to do the grind. But 
another python. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, see that's where I got got mine from. They can be difficult to find. Um pharmaceutical isolators, yep, they'd be difficult. Crack train. Oh, I just really don't like doing base runs. Like, I just don't enjoy them. Which is the problem. Shoot me. Outrageous. Okay, getting close towards hand in time, I think it'll be. Uh, just a quick another shout out for everyone to please hit the like button. As I said before, it does help me out as a streamer. And as the old want to be a YouTube extraordinaire person. No second wing, yes, and no hostile commanders. That's the way I like it. Yeah, guys, please do feel free to join the Zencast Discord. Uh, we are working on a getting a private group, private group, a um, player group set up, and that'd be something that'd be fantastic if everyone could get involved in. Um, it will involve a little bit of your time, uh, but that is all a little bit of your game time. And the good news is, you just get to commit some murder for a reason, for a good cause. The Zen Task Force. That's us. Uh, Nuke is good, is um, seems a very passionate man when it comes to the Zen Cast Task Force, and he will happily lead a wing at any time to help our cause. Um, Nuke, there'll be one for me and Oxy to talk about and come to an agreement because running BGS can be a pain in the backside, so we need to make sure that we get it right. Okay, got that guy. Um, note to self final kill. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Uh oh. I feel like I might have made a mistake. Okay, and come on. Right, he is dead. Nah, Nuke, it's fine. I'm heading out. And I can guarantee every time you say something about the pips, I, by the time I've read it, I can't remember what you're, <laughs> what you're referring to. Yep, we're going to go hand in. I'm hoping that should... um. I mean, I'm currently in the top 
as is everybody. Um, we're hoping to get to maybe top 50 with that. We'll have to see. I mean, how much has been handed in so far? Actually, do some creative mathematics. 17 billion by 5,840 people. Ooh. We'll see how that works out. Hey, William Berkeley, how you doing? Hope you're doing well this evening. Just handing in some combat bonds, and hopefully, we'll get to the rank go up of touch, which would be nice. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, Hemanchu, I'm kind of thinking you you could be very right there. It's interesting to see Vortex uh, keep changing <laughs> targets. Oh, isn't that funny where you can see people, who people are targeting? It's like, wait, what? Yeah, I see. Pad 32. We like Pad 32. Pad 32 is an easy one to land on. Flight assist off dock. Ah, uh, well, I'm kind of. Oh, fine. Fine. I'm doing it. Uh, William, I've literally just hit the goal today, so I will be looking at it this week. I have it ordered by the weekend, and then I should have it um, next week to learn how to use it. Now, oh, I flew off a bit. This is fine. Oh, maybe I should turn. Well, I was I was never going to turn my shields off for this. That's for sure. It's a heavy lump. You got to remember that. A heavy ship makes it more difficult to correct. This is this. Why do you, why do I ever listen to you, Nuke? I feel like I made a mistake. I'm like, I know. I'm. I'll listen to. I'll listen to Nuke. He knows what he's talking about. Uh technically, this is not in a vacuum anymore. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Like, ah, uh, you guys, this is. Uh, Nick, I'm not saying you're a good influence, that's for sure. Okay. Right. Fine. Use the Zen. Oh, the vortex has just come to mess around. It 
see, it's there. No, it's not embarrassing. It's fine. There we go. No, <laughs> come on. I'm just gonna get myself wedged. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh oh! This is this is this is bad. This this is. Uh, guys, guys, guys. Uh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I can't exit to the menu! It's going to be a huge mistake! Because if I exit to the menu, then... Oh no, it's it's happened! It's happening! It's happening! No! No! I am not combat logging on a station. I'm trying to... I... I... Uh. Uh. I... What? I blame Nuke. 49 million. For, 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 49... Yep, yeah, that's a bug I should have just logged. Yeah, but you know, we we have to take these things the way we do. Um, I. I don't really know what to say. I. <laughs> That's about your payment for killing new net ships. Don't do that. Don't 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 do that. Don't. So um more importantly Um Anyone else notice that more all of my obviously all of my uh, combat bonds have gone. This is what happens when you listen to the audience and you let and, and you let them heckle you. This is what happened. Oh man. Oh man. I Well. So Yeah, Nordic, I wish I could unsee it. And you know what? That's my fault as well. It's my fault because I let myself just drift under there. But important point here, guys. This does definitely um, say don't let don't don't be don't be tricked into into anything, and especially when you think you're good. Um. Then, <laughs> oh Sinclair, what? What? Why would you say that? Why would you? So I'm gonna return to the surface, and I'm gonna watch bits of my own ship spin around, and. There's there's only I feel like there's only one person to blame for this, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna blame myself. Um. I. No, Ethos. I, I didn't aggro the station. I um. Yeah. Drifted onto another pad, got wedged. And um. It all went wrong from there. Seems a bit strong a response as well, doesn't it? Sitting here, just thinking about it. And Spider, I'm sure it did. Oh man. Highlight clip? <laughs> well, I'm going to call time for the stream there anyway. Um, not because I'm. Uh, Super upset and heartbroken. 
and you know <clears throat> choked up about it I'm uh, gonna uh, have to go and earn back this money somehow somehow gonna have to go and make make that money and um, yeah I'm potato I, I literally I did that because of my own my own stupid pride my impetuous courage uh, Michael uh, are they all six of them from mine uh, well guys I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching please like for rebuys and I'll be streaming tomorrow 8 p.m. BST and I will oh god it hurts so much I'll see you all tomorrow once again thank you for watching Commander Plater out